So Blake, is it fun to come back and visit a project? Oh, yes sir, it is looking beautiful. This is just spectacular. Very cool wall all the way around it. I love the seating area over here. Crystal clear water, intake bay right here. And these seats that they spend all their time on. Sitting here looking back at that. How nice is that? Wow, with the mountains in the background. Just do it. Live in the Street lifestyle. Hot day out here in Arizona. I'm Greg Whitstock, the Pond Guy. This is my channel, Greg Whitstock, the Pond Guy. And I'm out with the team today from Pondscapes out in Arizona. We're out, are we in Phoenix right now, Ralph? No, Apache Junction, right at the base of the Superstition Mountains. Let's check out these mountains those mountains and apparently it's garbage day too <laughs> this was a concrete pond concrete pond and you know the story about the concrete ponds we come with jackhammers and turn them into aquascape ecosystems what percentage of pondscapes work is rebuilding this functional water feature it is a huge it's actually more than new builds right uh, so the majority of yeah. your builds is fixing somebody else's yep their first attempt second attempt third attempt at repairs i mean it just every day those calls come in the cool thing about this project is last Last week was Blake's one year anniversary and Blake started halfway through on this project. Oh, okay. Isn't it fun to go back and visit him? Oh yeah, always, always. Okay. And Big J started with us about uh, six weeks after Blake. So he's creeping up on a year as well. Yep. High school buddies. Yep. Okay. And then the beauty and in this, the group. This is my princess. Hi, Allison. Hi. Have you been to this project, Allison? Yes. Okay. When it was being built, I haven't seen it finished. Let's check out another beautiful aquascape ecosystem pond by Pondscapes. Nice cactus. Hey, there you go. Can I get a left-handed one, please? Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm the pond guy, Greg. <laughs> Hi, Greg. I'm Jamie. I'm Shirley. <laughs> Hi, Shirley. Hi, nice Ralph. How are you doing? How are you doing? Well, how are you? you? Thanks, yeah. 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 Allison, Hi. finally. Hi. Thank you. Thank you. Here we are. Hey, very. What a beautiful, thank beautiful you. property you have here. Well, thank you very much. How much property do you have here? Acre and a quarter. Nice. That's really nice. Most of the lots out here are, are about the same. Yep. But Acre this, and a quarter. But you moved here, and then you inherited a pot, <laughs> or if you call we it We inherited that. a cement trough with uh -huh. a waterfall. That's about what it was. Yes. <laughs> and then it died, and I just wanted Ralph to replace the motor in it. <laughs> you know, here we are. <laughs> the motor came with a free pot. <laughs> <laughs> that was an expensive and, and, motor. And what's the difference between what you inherited and what Ralph built? Oh, my God. A world of difference. You know, something that the birds drank out of, and we had some tadpoles. And what we got was was a masterpiece, something that draws us outside. Every now day. I see what Allison sees in you, Ralph. <laughs> we are out here 24 7. We're it's out here nice. all day. Well, at nighttime, at I nighttime, really to get the lights, now, right? So. We have lights around the pond. We chose not to put any in the water because we have so many critters, bobcats, and coyotes, and things that come and drink at night. Uh, we didn't want the fish. To... But you enjoy it all the time. Oh, yeah, every day. That's so yeah. nice. So do the kids and grandkids. And... Oh, that's cool. Come yeah. over to Grandma and Grandpa's well, house. Wait a minute. You don't have grandkids. Got nine. Second yes. marriage. You inherited them. We actually is second marriage, but we've been married 23 years. Okay, I'm at 24. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Our kids have been busy. <laughs> but they're done. <laughs> I'm going to let June. June, you want to come? Yeah, yeah, let, to yeah, 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 yeah let, let her out. Yellow layout. Okay. Look at the cactus. I mean, it is so cool. I'm pulling off the patio, and I see a dragonfly nymph over on the wall. Nature. I finally got to see a dragonfly come out of Oh, that's really nymph. cool. Really? Over the last three weeks, we've been watching them. We probably had a half a dozen. Yeah, it's the yeah. desert. you got life. Water Never is life. Never in my life have I seen it. Right. So this is wonderful. Here she comes. Hi, June. Hey, June. <laughs> Oh, she loves feet. <laughs> this is just spectacular. Very cool wall all the way around it. I love the seating area over here. Hey, hey, yeah. <laughs> Crystal clear water, intake bay right here, and these seats that they spend all their time on. Sitting here looking back at that. How nice is that? Wow, with the mountains in the background. This is just incredible. Oh, so nice. Mountains. What do friends?
friends that come over and see this thing. Oh, man, they are just amazing. And I was like, they'd love to have one, but they've already got pool. Yeah, it's traditional it. stuff. You know, we thought about that. We thought, well, maybe we just got a pool around. This has added such a dimension just in terms of watching the critter. Yes. <laughs> yeah, life. Water is life. Yeah, water is life. And for us, learning about the ecosystem and how it behaves mm -hmm. first year out was a learning experience for us. First time we had an algae bloom, it's like, oh my goodness. <laughs> and then it cleared up. <laughs> what do we do with it? And then we got it cleared up. And all the fish, bought a couple of Chinese banded hyphen. Hyphen sharks, yeah. Yeah, throw them, put them in there. They're small right now, but no good big. So people who are wondering about the maintenance of like this, how much work is this for you and your wife? It's not work. Spend time cleaning out the intake bay. Which is basically day. just skimming off whatever floats in there. The net. Other than that, it's not working. There's not a lot to do. We add some benefits yeah. bacteria every week. And, and the ecosystem takes care of itself. Yep, get in there and walk around. And, and I see the bees drinking. So Blake, is it fun to come back and visit a project? Oh, yes sir, it is looking beautiful. So this was your first build of an aquascape water feature, huh? Yes, yes sir. Obviously you must have liked it, that was a year ago. Yes sir. What do you like about it? Being from Kansas, I'm used to having lakes and rivers and streams and stuff. Well, my parents moved me out here to the desert and we don't have that. Right. We have to bring it to people. Amen. I love what we do, we get to do this for people every day. We always get to bring water features to someone. And um, everyone's so, different. Yes sir. So what would you say to somebody thinking about a water feature? Uh -huh. This is more than a water feature. It's it's a lifestyle. It is, and it's a commitment as well. Okay, how so? Just making sure that everything is working the way it should and really paying attention to the algae. We don't have a lot of cover out here, like shade. Well, you know what we're going to get you? A tropical water lily, right, Ralph? That's right, that's so right. we have a lotus that we just purchased. Nice. And so we haven't planted it yet, but it's going to go over there. We need more cover. Tropical water lily. Tropical water lily. <laughs> What we have here is approximately a 17 foot wide by 20 foot long pond, about three feet deep. So when we showed up, basically what we had was a waterfall right over there, right at where that uh, yellow flowering tree is. And it was just about a four foot tall mortared together pile of rocks that came in like a concrete trough and kind of disappeared right in this vicinity. That was about 40 foot run at the most five feet wide. What we had to do was start with the removal of that guy what we ended up doing was a huge excavation now the excavation on this was pretty difficult if you look at this rock retaining wall all of this came out of the ground this wall existed when we came out here but every time we put a shovel in the ground rocks this size all the way up to this size came out of here this rock in particular was right here about two and a half feet in the ground so I pulled that out and saw the whole rock that's about a thousand pound boulder right there so the digging conditions were definitely not easy but what we ended up doing was shading it with sand putting our heavy duty rock pad down and then our liner and then of course more rock pad so we could build the pond and because we had no access on the right side of the pond we had to completely build this side first and all of our liner was rolled up we had a ramp coming down into the pond so we could have our machine set in the bottom and then once we got the west side of the 
pond completed. Then we just finished digging out this section, rolled our liner out and uh, set up shop with our machines right here on the edge and built everything out. So over here towards the end, we've got this gorgeous intake bay. They had a small patio that was sitting here and I convinced Jamie and Shirley to get this patio redone once we were done and bring that patio right up to the edge of the rock. So they've got these beautiful Adirondack chairs situated perfectly. Got a beautiful view of that waterfall. So when you look at this waterfall on the other side, one of the hurdles that we have is building a waterfall against a dry stack wall. So when I say dry stack, somebody very talented and very patient stack each and every one of these rocks that go around this entire property. So the challenge that we had building against this was we did not want to put any pressure pushing out on that wall. So we put some concrete board up against that wall to kind of evenly distribute the weight and the pressure. And then we came in with our backfill material and built that up. So right in here, we have a Biofall 6000 nestled in there to create that filtration and of course this beautiful waterfall. Now one of the things that we really love doing when we create our waterfalls and streams is low profile rocks. So some of these rocks are put in specific locations to help the wildlife come and get fresh drinks of water. So right over here you can see this rock has this little ledge and this cool cut on it. We actually situated it to where it's tilted that way a little bit. So we just get a little bit of water coming off of this side and this is a perfect spot where birds come and drink all the time and then of course as you work your way down that waterfall we have a couple different areas where we have uh, low spots and just little side streams coming through feeding the plants feeding the bees and just looking so fantastic now when you turn around and you look at the patio you've got this right through these trees you've got this beautiful patio right through those doors is the dining room has a perfect view right through to check out that waterfall. So tons of view spots. And of course the sound from the waterfall pushes right to the master bedroom windows. So at nighttime when it's pleasant out, they can open the windows and have that beautiful sound come into their bedroom. One of the biggest hurdles with this pond was not the dig. The dig was a big problem. We got through that, but <laughs> the access to get back here. We had plenty of room once we were in place, but to get back here, we had to navigate this narrow driveway that twists and turns out into the street. So to bring a big truck and trailer, that was definitely a chore. So many times people get a pond that's a traditional pond, concrete pond, built the old school way that's high maintenance. It's not an ecosystem water feature. The majority of Ralph's work is fixing somebody else's challenges, somebody else's problems. It's always less expensive to do it right the first time. This is a beautiful aquascape ecosystem pond. It's not an inexpensive investment, but when you do it, it changes how you live your space. We love to say a water feature turns a house into a home, and I love to say I love my job.